What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to teach you guys how to hit your peg off of curbs. The actual name to this trick is called an ice chank. Basically, cause it's like an ice pick, except you're chanking your peg off of the pavement or the concrete or whatever you decide to hit your peg off of. And the reason why I didn't put that in the bio was because it's technically, in other contexts, a racial slur, except this word is not meant to be used in that way. The reason why BMX riders called that is because that's the sound makes when the peg hits the curb. So just, there's a little bit of context. And um, the first step to this trick is find yourself a curb, like maybe even a parking lot, like one of those little parking blocks you'll see at the end of parking spaces so you don't go too far. Or just uh, on, on your road, if you have just curbs on your road, just try them on there. It's, I wouldn't say try jumping on them first i wouldn't say jumping into them because that can kind of be annoying i would say going on top of the curb first the reason why you want to go on top of a curb is because as you go down that's when you're going to make that swerve maneuver towards your specific grind side that you like so if your grind side's left you're going to do it on the left side and you're going to swerve towards the curb to angle the peg down to hit it because that's the whole point the curb is lower than your peg is so you have to angle it to hit it so you do that by doing that swerve on whichever side that you like to make it go down usually it should be a regular side because that, that'll make you feel the most comfortable then once you do that you should just keep trying until you hear or feel contact with the peg and the curb on the bike and um to jump into you to jump into it you basically just turn and then you like don't you don't do too much of a swerve you basically just jump and then move your bike over midair so then when you land it'll be like that and as you land so your bike's gonna be like this you hit it and it's gonna go back up so then that'll mean that your bike will be level again and you don't have to like hit it and then bring it back the bike will just automatically come back Now for the nollie version when you're riding on it, that means you basically just have to go on top of it, kind of lean forward a bit so your back end's in the air, and then on the way down, you move over a bit, and then you do that little swerve and then hit your peg. So it's, it's pretty simple, you just want to get comfortable with the first version first because I found that once you get that down, you really get the grassroots of this trick. Another one is doing it up curbs, and this one's slightly harder because you have to swerve the bike even more. And sometimes you'll just hit your tire going up, it's no problem, it won't hurt it. And just don't go too fast for this, you don't want to be going too fast. And um, as you do this, I'd say just, at first, for me, i just like just swerve your bike as much as you can, because a lot of the time I'd underdo it, thinking, oh no, I'm going to hit my tire. Your tire will be fine, your bike will be fine. You won't get a flat, you'll be okay. And um, as you do that, you just swerve over and then you turn in. Then as you turn in, you should hear contact. If you don't, keep trying. It isn't like a first try thing. It, it isn't super easy. It took me a bit to learn it, I'm gonna be honest. But it's super fun once I did. This is super hard at first. Usually, it depends on the length of your pegs. Some people like four inch long pegs. The usual amount is like around 4.5. For me, I like a bit more than that. I currently ride the Fit Bike Co. 4.7 pegs. And when you see size on pegs, it doesn't usually mean width. It's usually just the length of it. So 4.7 helps because it's the less amount that you have to angle your bike because there's just more, it's just longer. So you don't have to angle it as much and it's much more helpful. The key to this is you swerve a lot, and then I'd say if you're gonna practice this, practice this at like a wedge or like a pyramid at your local skate park. If you don't, try it on a curb like I did. This took me like a year to learn of trying on and off. And as you go, you swerve towards it and try and keep a low center of gravity. And you kind of hop a bit early, but you don't hop too much because you know that the curb is gonna be up there to meet you. You don't wanna overshoot it. So as you go up, you kind of move in, Pull, pull your bars into your chest and then kick your legs out as you're sideways to hit the peg. Then once you do that, your bike should stand up and you should be okay. And that's everything I have to say for today. I know this was a more in-depth how-to. 
It's super fun. You can kind of do it anywhere. And it doesn't necessarily have to be on a curb. It can be on like anywhere. Just if it isn't a grind where you just kind of hit your peg off something, that counts. And uh, yeah, super fun trick. You can do it anywhere. It's really fun. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful towards doing this because I noticed there weren't a whole lot of videos on how to do this. And I just thought, hey, might as well make one. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have yourselves a nice day.